Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Standard. I'm one of the founders of the Akadonet Project, and today I'm here to talk to you about Phobos 2.0, Pettibridge's library for being able to inject observability into your Akadana applications with very little code or configuration. Phobos is designed to go ahead and help developers understand how their Akadana applications behave dynamically at runtime. It's designed to provide both a combination of distributed tracing as well as metrics to observe how well your application is performing and to reduce uh, troubleshooting and diagnosis costs. It requires a minimal amount of code to configure. Uh, it just gets injected into your actor system. You don't need to write any custom instrumentation code or really any configuration whatsoever. And it's all built on top of open telemetry. Open telemetry is a unified standard in the APM ecosystem that's designed to go ahead and make it seamless for library authors such as Petabridge to go ahead and export metrics to any variety of different vendors. So any instrumentation built on top of open telemetry will work for Datadog, it'll work for Prometheus, it'll work for Jaeger, et cetera. So we use that inside Phobos 2.0. And on top of that, open telemetry is now the standard being targeted by Microsoft and all of their built-in .NET frameworks, including the .NET base class library, uh, including ASP.NET, SignalR, gRPC, Entity Framework, all of them use open telemetry too. And this means that you can seamlessly correlate any activity that originates in ASP.NET with any activity that propagates into your Akadana actors. And then anything your actors might do, such as using it, an entity framework client or an HTTP client, all of that activity will be traced end to end because of open telemetry. This also works going over the network. Akadat Remote automatically propagates all of your tracing context uh, between nodes inside your cluster. So if you're building a distributed application with Akka.net, uh, Phobos will work very well in that environment as well. And all in all, Phobos is designed to save you hundreds of hours of debugging and setup time. I promise that using Phobos is going to be significantly cheaper than trying to roll even a simple solution on your own. We've spent hundreds of hours developing this, working with dozens of customers, and we've got the system down for being able to measure Akka.net's behavior uh, performantly and at low cost uh, and with minimal, let's say, fuss. So we've got this down to a science. Now, what are the key features in Phobos 2.0? The first is that we're built on top of open telemetry. Phobos 1.0 was built on a different set of technologies, but now open telemetry is the new standard. So this should future-proof Phobos quite far into the distant future on the .NET platform. We've also greatly simplified our configuration. There's no Hocon required at all anymore for Phobos 2.0. Uh, we're built primarily on top of Akadot hosting. So this all plugs into the iService collection interface that you use for configuring most applications in .NET. Uh, we've also significantly improved the APM noise and cost control system. This is our trace filtering engine, as well as our configuration for being able to turn metrics or tracing on and off for different parts of your actor system. Uh, this is designed to make it easy for developers to measure the things they want and ignore the things they don't. So we spent a lot of time improving that in this release. Finally, one of the biggest features we added in Phobos 2.0 is end-to-end -end latency tracking on messages. Uh, we measure latency from the point at which a message gets sent, and we can keep track of how long that message was in flight, how much time it spent inside the mailbox, and then how long it took the actor to actually process the message. So this will give you a more accurate picture of what things like back pressure look like inside your system at any given time. And so we incorporate that end-to-end -end latency tracking in our traces as well as our metrics. So how does Phobos 2.0 work? Well, provided that you're using open telemetry, which you should be, as that's the new future of observability for all .NET applications going forward, all you have to do is after you buy a license for Phobos, you'll be given access to a private NuGet feed for yourself and your company, and you just install the phobos.hosting NuGet package. You make one extension method call to go ahead and register Phobos inside your actor system, and then you go ahead and register the Phobos meter and activity source to your open telemetry and metrics and tracing pipelines. And that'll cause the traces that are produced by Phobos to automatically be exported along with the other traces from ASP.NET, gRPC, and the other parts of your .NET application. And the same will also happen for your metrics. So this will all get included in the same metrics pipeline that you're using for all the other parts of your application you want to try to observe in production. And Phobos automatically records metrics and traces 
as a result of actor interactivity. So when one actor sends a message to another, we go ahead and record an akadaactor.message.receive event with the type name of the message that was being sent. We go ahead and we produce some counter increments on the metric side and some traces for this. And this all gets exported via the open telemetry infrastructure to your preferred tracing and monitoring service. And you end up with graphs that look like this inside your tracing system, where you might have an HTTP request that starts inside ASP.NET that might result in that controller sending an ask to an actor. The actor receives that message, processes it, and then in the course of processing it, that actor might run an any framework query. You'll be able to go ahead and see all of this appear on your distributed trace graphs inside a platform like Jaeger, which is what we have on this slide right here. This is an example of what a real trace interaction looks like uh, from the Phobos plus the other open telemetry instrumentation inside this application. We begin with an HTTP request at the very top. Uh, we have a custom operation that I created after that. Uh, a couple of ask operations, some actors processing some messages. And lo and behold, we even managed to observe an actor crashing inside this application. And we can go ahead and tell exactly where this occurred over the course of this request being processed. So Phobos' open telemetry instrumentation gives you a lot of visibility into what's really happening behind the scenes with all of these actor interactions and the other components that make up your .NET application. And that's not all. Phobos also comes with a number of ready-made dashboards for Phobos metrics. Uh, so these are some examples of some Grafana dashboards that we ship for Prometheus. So you can go ahead and set up Phobos and open telemetry to work with Prometheus. Just install these two dashboards inside your application and you're off and away. We also have dashboards for other platforms such as Datadog, InfluxDB, and many more that we'll add over the course of the future. And there's no code needed for any of this configuration and setup. What we have here on the left is what the standard OpenTelemetry builder interface looks like for working with OpenTelemetry metrics and tracing in any .NET application. And there's two key lines in here, add Phobos instrumentation. This simply registers the meter and activity source from Phobos into your open telemetry instrumentation for tracing and metrics. And then on the other side, we have one key line right here, this enable Phobos line, which says builder with Phobos. That's all it takes to go ahead and inject Phobos into a running actor system. And this is using the brand new Akadot hosting technology that we introduced in a previous video. Uh, if you aren't using Akadot hosting, don't worry. It's still very easy to configure Phobos uh, using a, a traditional actor system.create call as well. And we'll go ahead and show you how to do that in one of the links in the description. Now, the last really big thing that Phobos can help you do is reduce costs and APM noise. Uh, one of the really big features we developed for the Phobos 2.0 release was much more powerful and performant trace filtering. Uh, it's possible to have very busy actor systems that are processing hundreds of thousands of messages per second. It's usually not a good idea to export all of that into a tracing system since you tend to pay for, for data by the byte. So as a result, Phobos has a very powerful trace filtering system that gives you exact control over which actor message type should be traced, should we trace any messages that are resultant from these initial ones, and so forth. And we have a very standard interface for being able to do that. We also have the ability to disable metrics and tracing per actor. So if you have one hierarchy of actors that you want to disable tracing for, you can go ahead and turn them all off via a couple of configuration settings you can pass in via props or Hocon if you want. Phobos also works with all of the other open telemetry best practices, namely using sampling or using post processors to go ahead and restrict which data actually gets transmitted to your APM platform. Again, this is another great way to help reduce costs and to uh, keep the signal to noise ratio healthy. So you're only getting data that you really need out of it. Lastly, Phobos has a very simple licensing model that has been very popular with our customers when we introduced Phobos 1.0. And that's that Phobos costs your organization a flat $4,000 per year. This is a site license. So it covers all of your developers and all of your projects that use Akka.net. And the license includes install, troubleshooting, architecture, and configuration support from the Petabridge team. So you have the ability to go ahead and get help getting Phobos configured. If you need Phobos to measure something that it can't do all that well right now, uh, that's something that we can certainly help you with as well. We are very flexible and we work very hard to go ahead and support our customers.
And the last bit is we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you install Phobos and aren't satisfied with what it's able to do, uh, we will go ahead and fully refund your money uh, within 30 days uh, if you request it. And you can go ahead and buy Phobos online at phobos.pettibridge.com. And you can go ahead and sign up for it via credit card today if you want. So thanks for your time. We really appreciate it. We hope you look forward to using Phobos 2.0 to understand how your Akadana applications behave at runtime. And please let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Thank you very much.